welcome everybody. <coughs> Gotta redo that one. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe Zivok. He's just in time for another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we completed the Andrian Cafe side quest, netting us not one, not two, but three masks. Well, technically masks, you consider hats to be masks, but still. Um, in this episode, we're going uh, to be getting another mask, the last of our masks to collect to uh, collect here. Um, aside from the one down there, but I've stayed multiple times, we need all the other masks for it. Um, first thing we need to do is you need to uh, save the bomb, the old bomb lady's bomb bag from uh, Saken on the first night. Um, and then you need 500 rupees. And then you need to go to the curiosity shop on the third night. Um... Because if you do, instead of on the bomb bag, he has. You gotta look. You gotta look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. Tonight's bargain is, is the all night mask. You said bedtime. I forget when this was made, but it sure is a freaky mask. See? You put it on, you can try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? Okay, so we'll check the bargain out. All night mask, 500 rupees. Uh, this is the only reason you need the you need the big bag, the uh, big uh, ruby bag, because I don't think there's anything more that's over 200 rupees. I don't know, maybe. There's. Here we got the all night mask, the last of the masks that we need to get. Um, so unless you just fall asleep, even if you want, even if you want to, where was the? Um, I don't know, nothing else to tell you. I kid you not. Nah. I don't have anything to sell them either. Okay, now there's, a, there's one thing we can do with this mask that we need to re, pretty much reset time for. Okay, so, we're gonna, so I'm going to go and reset time and um, we'll, meet, we'll meet up back at the end. Because um, there's three things that we need to do at the end. Well, one thing we need to do at the end, technically, split into three parts before we actually... Uh, before we actually start the uh, end game with it, before we actually start finishing the game, um, actually, we don't need, you don't need to do this, but it's, um, it's basically just to kind of show you show you what the use for the uh, all night mask is. Because hey, I've already shown you the use for all the other masks, or well, most of them anyway. Um, so yeah, the first thing we need to do is go into is go into the inn and talk to Andrew's grandmother. Or, yeah, grandmother. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and equip the mask and we'll head on in there. I believe it should be open by now. Okay, never mind. I'll have to cut to when, we, when it opens. Actually, no, I, don't, I don't have to cut. Um, what am I saying? I have a thing on a flower. So let's head on over this way. And go in this way. That'll be easier, right? That'll be easier, right? And just simply go down here and... I believe this is Andrew's mother, grandmother's room. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and equip the all night mask and talk to her. Oh, Doris, did you finish helping father? And that mother read you a story. Which one would you like to hear? You know, we get two, we get two stories here, the four giants and the carnival of time. The carnival of time takes two hours and the fourth giant takes until morning. So we'll go ahead and look. Look at the Carnival of Time. You do not need the mask to, to look to look at this story. Um, just so that you know. You do need the All Night Mask for the other one, though. The Carnival of Time, is it? The Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning with the... So long, but I read it with some enthusiasm. <coughs> the Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins with the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of processing, of progressing. If I could actually do a uh, Morgan Freeman's voice, I'd actually do that in his voice. The Carnival of Time is when the people 
Because when the peoples of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the carnival of time. It is said that if a couple united on the day of the festival and dedicated a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower. On the eve of all the festiv festivities, the doors to the roof are opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held for and an ancient song is sung. All these festivals for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the year to come. That brings some good backstory to this whole thing. You did a good job. That's all. That's all for Tortoise. Now, when does the clock tower open on the eve of the festival? Did a good job remembering. That's the boy I'm proud of. Give you some candy as a prize. And we got a piece of heart. Um, so yeah, we got one piece of heart from the first story. The second story, we'll get another piece of heart. Just kind of go ahead and let you know, because there's really nothing else we can get. Um, so we'll go ahead and, lis and listen to the Four Giants story. The Four Giants, is it? This is quite a long, this is quite long, but it's a good story for you to hear. So I'll read it with some extra gusto. <coughs> the Four Giants. A tale from long ago when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One hundred steps north, one hundred steps south, one hundred steps east, one hundred steps west. If you have need, call us in, the, in a loud voice by declaring something such as, Mountain Blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this, a little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The child felt, friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. O oh, imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens and harmony was restored to the four worlds. The people rejoiced and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods. And they lived happily ever after. Good job, wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people do to call the giants? Sing a song. That's right. You couldn't just sing that song anywhere. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. The spot at which those giants parted is right in the middle of this very town. So yeah. Uh, that was... Just one that one got us a piece of heart, too. Oh well. Um... Yeah, so I thought... Uh, anyway, anyway, um... Now the only thing left for us to do is to... Is to, uh, wait till midnight. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save all that... Till, uh... For its, own ep for its own episode as well. Going into... Going in to confront the Skull Kid. Um... So, yeah. Um, anyway, before we end this episode off... There's one thing I want to talk. I want to talk about the uh, four giant story real quick. In case you haven't, in case you haven't really been able to figure it out, the imp that they were talking about is actually uh, the Skull Kid. Um, so yeah, that kind of explains a lot of the Skull Kid's backstory. So even if we didn't get a piece of art, it's still pretty interesting. It's still pretty interesting to kind of teach us. Excuse me. <laughs> Had a little uh, burp there. It's still interesting to, to kind of teach us a bit of the backstory to the. To the, to the uh, Skull Kid. 
Um, but yeah. So that's it. Next episode, we will be confronting the Skull Kid. Um, and the only way we know how. Uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going with that. Anyway, um, the next, uh, anyway, the next episode, yeah, okay. Mm. Brain stops. Sorry about that. Anyway. Anyway, until then, I'll see you guys later.